so let me get this straight. Uh, the President and Harry Reid will not compromise and they will not negotiate with the Republicans over the issue of the debt ceiling, government shutdown, Obamacare. No compromise, no negotiation. I, I find that difficult to understand. This is the President who is actively negotiating with the dictator of Syria, Bashar al-Assad, the man who murdered his own children, the children of Syria, 400 of them, gassed to death. The President will negotiate with Assad. He will also negotiate with the mullahs of Iran, even calls them on the phone. Has the President called Republicans or called Democrats in the Senate or the House? No negotiation on the debt ceiling on government shutdown, but yes, we will call the mullahs in Iran and we will negotiate with Assad in Syria. Now that's extraordinary, is it not? I suspect that the President and Harry Reid want a government shutdown because they think they can win politically. They think that this is their ticket to getting Nancy Pelosi as the Speaker of the House again after the elections of 2014. I think they're flat out wrong. I suspect that the political tide is turning. I don't think Americans want Obamacare and I don't think they care very much if the government shuts down for a couple of weeks because you don't feel it. Let's see how this thing works out on the markets. Right now we're looking, it's, uh, it's just out of quarter past six a.m. Eastern time on Monday morning. I'm looking at the futures and we're looking at a roughly 100 point loss for the Dow Jones Industrial Average. That is not a huge loss on a 15,000 index. And by the way, of the 17 shutdowns since 1976, lasting between one and 21 days, there has never been a market meltdown, period. We will see you in three hours. This is going to be an ongoing story. Follow it through us, please.